Can you come, come outside, let's talk please. Praise God. The Bible says, we've all sinned against God. Like Young people. lady, we've all sinned against God. Can I have a word with you please? Yeah. Would you consider yourself as a good person? Yeah, yeah. Praise God, I love her. You're a good person. Praise God. Can I show you something in the Bible? Amen. Praise God, you've admitted. But, praise God. So you've admitted that. So would you all admit that you've sinned against God? Okay, praise God. And this is a good news I want to tell you now. The Bible says, Why is we all sinners? That Jesus Christ died for us. How is that? That is the good news. So you and I are meant to be condemned, but Jesus was condemned in your place and my place. Is that a good news? You meant to be condemned. I meant to be condemned. Everybody. But Jesus Christ died for you. Uh, everyone who was condemned in our place. Would you mind to come? Let's have a discussion too. Listen, every one of us would die. Jesus Christ died in our place. 
But he did not left it there. When he died in our place, he was condemned in our place. We deserve to be condemned, but Jesus was condemned in our place. But guess what? He rose up again on the third day. And he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father but the by him. The blood of Jesus. Oh, it's gonna remove your sins. Not Nothing <laughs> can wash away your sins. Do you have any idea what can wash away your sins, or what can cleanse your sins? It is only the blood of Jesus. But what can you do today? You're standing the church. The reason being is the Bible said the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. God loves you so much. You have no idea, and myself and everybody. That's why he died for us. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, who is Jesus. Whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So now you start in the church according to the word of God. Uh, 1 John 1 8. It says something amazing. You know what it says? It said, Any of you, anyone that claim they have no sin, they deceive themselves because the truth is not in them. But those who convert their sins, the Lord will forgive them their sins. So today, I'm not going to force you to say anything to me. But if you can only walk away believing that you are a sinner, and you can go home and ask Jesus Christ to forgive you your sins. By what? Changing your mind and know that you are wrong, but God is right. That's what the good news is about. Because the Bible says, It is appointed unto men to die once, and they'll be judged. You know the day you were born, are you? 